So I'm just at the airport right now. Uh, we're waiting to board a flight to Houston. Uh, from Houston, we're going to go to Galveston, Texas, and then we're going on a cruise. So uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, first time I've ever been on a cruise. Uh, not sure what to expect. A little bit anxious because uh, I do get seasick pretty easily. Uh, brought a lot of medications, hopefully, which will help if I do get seasick, uh, but hopefully it's okay. Talked to a few people, they say you don't really notice uh, the motion too much on a cruise, as long as the weather's pretty calm, so uh, hopefully it all turns out okay, but I'm really excited. So uh, we're about to uh, board the flight pretty soon here, uh, fly down to Texas, and uh, cruise will leave tomorrow, and uh, so we'll uh, bring you along on the journey. All right, catch you guys later. So we made it here to uh, Houston, uh, the flight was pretty uneventful, uh, really no problems at all, it was pretty enjoyable. Uh, managed to pick up our uh, bags at baggage claim, but now we got a big wait ahead of us. Uh, so this is a family trip, we're waiting for some family to come from other parts of the country. Uh, originally we are all supposed to get in roughly around the same time, but unfortunately their flight got delayed uh, by about uh, one and a half to two hours. So. Uh, not much choice in the matter, we're just going to have to wait for them to arrive before we can get going again. So, for now, we sit and wait. Alright, see ya. They're here, finally. Hey guys, so we finally made it onto the cruise ship. As you know, uh, we got in pretty late last night, which meant uh, we went to bed pretty late last night, and then we were up pretty early this morning, so not too much sleep. Uh, we're all a little tired, uh, but uh, once we had breakfast, uh, we made our way to the cruise ship here. It took us a little while to get on, as you can imagine. There are a few thousand people also trying to get on the cruise ship at the same time. Um, so, you know, given that fact, uh, the process was overall pretty smooth. Uh, once we got onto the uh, ship, uh, we managed to get some lunch. Uh, we had lunch at a buffet restaurant here called the Windjammer Cafe. Pretty decent lunch, but it was also pretty busy because I think most of the people who got onto the cruise ship had the exact same idea. In any case, after pretty decent lunch, uh, we made our way to our room. Uh, we ended up getting a room with a balcony. Thought it would be nice to have a, a balcony for the uh, week-long trip here. And we're just getting unpacked and settled in, and uh, pretty soon we got to go to a mandatory safety training session and after that we're just gonna kind of explore the ship uh, see what's up and uh, kind of look at uh, where we're gonna be staying for the next week we'll be sure to take you along with us all right we'll catch you guys later <laughs> So the first two days of our cruise were spent out at sea, which gave us an opportunity to just explore the ship and see what it had to offer. Uh, during these days, we uh, began our day having a light breakfast as well as some coffee on our balcony, which was a wonderful and relaxing way in which to start the day. It's very peaceful just uh, observing the ocean from our balcony. Most of the outdoor activities seem to be located on the upper deck of the ship. Uh, this is where the pools were located. Uh, there were a couple of pools as well as a hot tub for families to enjoy some water activities. Um, it, located near the pools, uh, there also was a giant television screen where they showed different movies and TV shows. There was a separate uh, splash or water park area for the children to enjoy, which looked to be quite entertaining. I didn't really go in this area, but it looked like it would be a lot of fun if you were a child. There also was a separate area uh, for adults uh, where there was a pool and a hot tub, uh, which was adults only. Towards the back of the ship, uh, they had a couple of very large water slides, which looked uh, quite fun. Now, I didn't have a chance to try these water slides, but uh, just looking at them, they look to be pretty fun. Next to the water slides, there was a basketball court. If you're interested in shooting hoops or playing a game of pickup, 
They also use the basketball court for activities such as soccer and dodgeball. Right next to the basketball court, they also had a rock climbing wall. So if you're interested in uh, testing out or honing your climbing skills, uh, this would be an area where you could uh, climb the rock wall. On the inside of the ship, uh, the central portion was taken up by the central promenade. Uh, this is an area where you could grab some snacks or food uh, from different locations. Uh, also, if you were interested in doing some shopping, there were a few shops in this area as well. Incredibly, on this cruise ship, there was an ice skating rink. So if you wanted to do some ice skating, uh, you could certainly do so. And they also had a show which took place on the ice skating rink, which was uh, quite fun to watch. The main theater is the uh, Platinum Theater and on each night of the cruise they had a different show taking place within the theater. I have to say overall the quality of the entertainment uh, within the theater was quite good. I found myself being entertained by all of the different shows that I had an opportunity to watch and see. So just because we were on vacation, that doesn't mean we weren't trying to look after our health. So we did have an opportunity to go to the gym. I have to say the gym was very well equipped uh, with a number of cardio machines as well as uh, resistance exercise machines as well as some free weights. So if you're on a cruise and you're looking to get into shape or stay healthy, uh, I have to say that the gym on this cruise ship was very well equipped and really provided uh, all of the different equipment that you might want to get in a good workout. Now being at sea for a couple of days also gave us a wonderful opportunity to just look out over the ocean and I have to say there's nothing like being on a cruise ship out in the middle of the ocean to really see some beautiful sunrises and sunsets so we certainly took advantage of that opportunity. Hey guys, so our first port uh, was in Roatan, Honduras and uh, we didn't plan any excursions here in Roatan. And that might be a good thing at the end of the day because when we docked uh, there was an announcement saying that there were some protests taking place and because of those protests uh, no one could leave the actual port because the protesters were blocking the gates. Um, after a while though I think uh, there was a bit of negotiation that took place and so uh, the protesters agreed uh, to let people pass and uh, so then the excursions were able to take place. In any case, uh, we didn't plan for any excursions, uh, so we just kind of walked around the actual port, uh, checked out some of the shops and restaurants and so forth. Now that port's pretty small, um, so it didn't really take us a whole lot of time to kind of go through it. Um, and so we had, because we had a little bit of time on our hands and because the protesters had left at that point in time, uh, what we ended up doing is we ended up kind of walking through the town uh, that was beyond the port there. So that was kind of interesting, got to see how some of the people live and uh, some of the shops that are uh, there and so forth. It was a nice little stroll, it was just kind of good to get off the boat. Um, but we didn't plan on any excursions. Uh, so um, after our day in Roatan, got back onto the boat and uh, headed off to our next stop, uh, which is Costa Maya, Mexico. All right, we'll catch you guys later. So today uh, we spent the day in Costa Maya, which was the uh, second port on our cruise today. Uh, so the port is actually called Costa Maya, but the town or uh, city that it's associated with is called Mahahual. Um, so that's kind of what you'll find on the map, uh, whereas Costa Maya is actually the port. So um, after pulling into the port, uh, we spent the day checking out some Mayan ruins. Uh, Kobulich Mayan Ruins is uh, where we went today. It's, it's really uh, fascinating actually. Uh, so these are Mayan ruins that were um, discovered in 1968 and as far as they can tell the people who lived there lived there from about um, 600 BC up to about 200 AD. So uh, really really old ruins. Uh, so just to kind of walk around and uh, see the ruins is just is really uh, fantastic and uh, turned out to be a wonderful day today. A little bit hot and humid for my likes, uh, but for the people who live here, they actually said today was a very refreshing day. Super sunny, which was very nice. Um, the ruins were kind of far away, it took us about two hours to drive there. 
Uh, we spent about two hours there and it was a two hour drive back. So kind of a long day, but uh, just, just fantastic. Did get to spend a little bit of time in Costa Maya, just checking out the village and some of the shops before heading back to the ship. Uh, as you can see, uh, we are back on the uh, ship now and uh, just about to pull out uh, of the uh, port and uh, it's almost time for dinner. Uh, after dinner, uh, I'll just kind of take it easy, relax, plan our day for tomorrow. All right, we'll catch you guys later. So the third and final port that we stayed at today was in Cozumel. Uh, that's in Mexico as well. Um, beautiful place. Uh, probably the largest of the three ports that we stayed in. Uh, in fact, each of the three days, the ports seemed to get larger and larger. So Roatan to Costa Maya to Cozumel. There must have been about six or seven crews shipped all docked at the same time today. So made for a bit of a crowd, but the area is pretty big. Uh, in terms of uh, activities, uh, Catherine and I decided we would go snorkeling for the day. So uh, we went on an excursion where we went to three different reefs um, and had a chance to snorkel. It was pretty fun. It's been a while since Catherine and I did any sort of uh, water activities like that. Um, and like I said, it was pretty enjoyable. The only issue was it was a big crowd and I think there might have been about 40 people who were part of our excursion. So made for a bit of a crowd, but uh, nice just to get in the water, see some of the corals and some of the fish. So. That took up the morning, uh, spent the afternoon just kind of walking around uh, Cozumel. Uh, now we're back on the boat and uh, about to have dinner. All right, we'll catch you guys later. So we're uh, back from the cruise now and uh, overall I would say that uh, we had a very good time. I mean I wasn't really sure what to expect because I've never been on a cruise. This is the first one we've ever taken um, and uh, after the cruise is over now I would say it was a really good experience. A um, couple takeaways from the cruise. Uh, number one, I didn't get sick at all. I was a little worried going into it because I do have a tendency to experience motion sickness particularly on boats. Uh, but on this cruise, it wasn't really an issue at all. Uh, at no time did I feel unwell or nauseous or sick in any way. Uh, for the first half of the cruise, the waters were very calm, but the last couple of nights, the waters were a little bit more rough and choppy, and you could certainly feel the boat moving just a little bit. 
um, but really it wasn't an issue for me at all so that was very very fortunate. Uh, one of the issues I have been dealing with though is uh, now that I've been off the boat um, uh, and back on dry land uh, I can kind of feel as though the room is still moving but uh, I'm told that that'll pass uh, fairly quickly. Um, in terms of the uh, food on the cruise, uh, a very pleasant surprise actually. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't have like real high hopes, um, you know, going into the cruise with respect to the food. I mean, you got several thousand people on this boat that need to be fed and uh, when you're cooking for that many people, I don't know what the quality was going to be like, but overall the food was quite good. Um, dinners um, were excellent. Um, yeah, dinner was in the main uh, dining room, uh, it was kind of nice sit down dinner, tablecloth and everything like that. And, and dinner for me was the real kind of uh, nice surprise and that the quality of the food for dinner was, was really quite uh, good. I mean we're not talking you know three star Michelin restaurant here but uh, overall uh, you know I had no complaints uh, when it came to the uh, dinner uh, meal. In terms of breakfast and lunch, typically we ate at the uh, buffet restaurant, which is called the Windjammer uh, restaurant or Windjammer Cafe, um, and it's a buffet style uh, type of meal. And again, there, you know, the the quality of the food was quite good. The variety of the food was quite good. The only issue is it gets pretty crowded uh, in there during meal time. So for a larger group like us, where we had seven people. Uh, you might have to uh, hunt around or wait a little bit to find a table uh, large enough to accommodate everyone but it was never more than a few minutes for us to find a table and again uh, the quality of the buffet food was uh, quite good. I, I think maybe there could have been uh, a bit more variety in terms of um, uh, ethnic foods and things like that um, but again really no complaints. Uh, in terms of the uh, activities on the boat, uh, plenty to do. Um, of course, there's the pool areas, and uh, for children, that's fantastic. You know, they kind of like to be in the water and so forth, and uh, so there's a lot of uh, things to do in terms of water activities. Um, there are a lot of other activities as well. So there's the rock climbing wall, which I had a chance to try out, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, they do have a basketball court where you can play a uh, little bit of basketball or they even use it as sort of a soccer court at times as well. There was the uh, flow rider which is uh, the uh, surfing simulation. Now I didn't get a chance to uh, try that. Uh, it would have been nice uh, but I just didn't have an opportunity but that looks like a little bit of uh, fun as well. Um, they have the water slides uh, which again I was fully intending to try but didn't get an opportunity to try. And that's because um, I heard from some other people that the slide was actually pretty slow. Um, there were points where you might actually have to kind of push yourself along. So after I heard that, I wasn't all that interested in trying it. Uh, of course, there is a gym on the uh, boat, and I did have an opportunity to go to the uh, gym on a few occasions, actually. And uh, in terms of the size, the equipment that's offered, uh, both cardio and resistance uh, machines, um, no complaints there. The, the, the gym was uh, quite nice, actually. and so. If you're looking to, you know, uh, get a workout in, stay in shape while, while you're on a cruise, yeah, the gym is, is fantastic actually. And then other than that, there are a large uh, variety of um, uh, other activities. They also always have things like trivia uh, games or contests going on. There's karaoke and so forth as well. Uh, one uh, thing tied to activities or entertainment, of course, would be the shows that they offer on the uh, cruise. And I have to say there, the quality of the shows, again, was, was quite good. Um, there was a variety of things. There were comedians, a uh, variety shows. There's a, an ice rink on the boat, and so they had like a, an ice show, and then they had a musical as well. Um, so something is offered every night uh, in terms of uh, entertainment or show like that. And again, the quality of the shows was, was quite excellent. Most shows ran for about 45 minutes or so, so they're not overly long. Um, except for the one musical which ran for about an hour and a half or about 90 minutes and uh, again I wasn't sure really what to expect uh, but pleasantly surprised and that the quality of the shows was, uh, was excellent. In terms of the uh, excursions, um, uh, we had three uh, ports that we stopped in, uh, the first being Roatan, Honduras, uh, the second being Costa Maya or Mahahual, Mexico and the third being Cozumel. So for Roatan we didn't uh, go on any excursions, uh, but for the other two that we did, uh, in Costa Maya we did the uh, Mayan ruins and in Cozumel we had a chance to go snorkeling. 
and uh, the, the excursions were quite uh, nice. Um, obviously they are a bit of an extra cost, um, but uh, you know, I, I think the cost was quite reasonable in terms of what we got. Uh, the only thing with the excursions, I guess uh, when you're on a cruise, is that uh, there is a limit to the, to the time, you know, the, the port. And when you're at the port, uh, you know, you get off at a certain time and you obviously have to be back on the boat at a certain time. So depending on how long your excursion is, that might not leave a lot of time to then do some exploring around the port. So as an example, uh, when we were in Costa Maya and uh, did our uh, Mayan ruins excursion, it was a two hour drive to the Mayan excursions. Uh, we had about an hour and a half or so to spend at the uh, Mayan ruins. And then of course it was a two hour drive. and. That took up basically all the time that we were at the port, so we didn't really have a chance to explore the port itself. And it also kind of limits the time that you're actually at the Mayan ruins. Uh, I think ideally it would have been nice to spend a little bit more time there, but uh, you know, uh, time is of the essence and, and you're really kept on a tight schedule. So that's really kind of the only issue I had in terms of the excursions. In terms of the cruise overall, I would say a uh, very good, uh, very positive experience. Um, especially for a family vacation. You know, I think uh, for uh, Kath and I, just the two of us, you know, uh, would we go on a cruise again? I'm not sure right now at this point in our lives uh, it's something that we would do when we go on vacation. Uh, you know, uh, we'd like to be a little bit more active, do a bit of hiking and that sort of thing, uh, which you don't really get an opportunity to do that much uh, on a cruise uh, boat, obviously, maybe as part of the excursions. Um, but in terms of a family vacation, if you've got a large group, and for us it was a family vacation, uh, and uh, I think it's almost ideal actually. You're kind of uh, together on the boat all together, and uh, really gives you an opportunity to spend together, spend time together as a family, um, and uh, you know, sit down and share in some meals together and so forth. For, so for that perspective, I think it was a fantastic, great vacation. Um, and I think I would certainly consider doing uh, another cruise uh, again uh, following my first experience here. So those are just my thoughts um, on, on my uh, very first cruise and uh, we'll see what, uh, what adventure awaits us next. Alright, we'll catch you guys later. See ya.